some bitches be claiming they fuck with me. But I know they really don't fuck with me. Cause really these niggas can't fuck with me. Some niggas be saying they fuck with me. Some bitches be claiming they fuck with me. But I know they really don't fuck with me. Cause really these niggas can't fuck with me. These niggas can't fuck with me. These bitches can't fuck with me. These niggas can't fuck with me. Yo bitch, she gon' fuck for free. Yeah, yeah. These niggas can't fuck with me. These bitches can't fuck with me. She gon' fuck for free. Yeah, yeah. The nigga can't fuck with me. The bitches can't fuck with me. I say I'm celibate. I heard you look take. Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? We back with another video, and this is predictions for week 14. It's Friday, but I did get my pick in for a Thursday night football and fourth quarter. I was thinking, how could I how could I have picked the Rams? You know? It's 13-3, nine minutes left in the game. The uh, the Rams have, I didn't know Aaron Donald was out. You know, Cooper Cup is out. Um, Stafford's out. I don't even know why I picked them guys, but lo and behold, Baker Trash Mayfield actually looked like a starting quarterback last night. I guess him sitting on the bench kind of, I don't know what it did, but he looked good last night. I can't lie. I don't. I never like Baker Mayfield game, but last night he looked like a a number one quarterback. But congrats to them boys, and um, it is what it is. Uh, I think um, the win for the Rams was good for the Eagles. Um, as far as um, you know, the um number five pick from the Saints. I think if um, the Saints win, I mean Saints lose this weekend, I think we might we might jump to four. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'm gonna look it up. But I think if if the if the uh, Saints lose this weekend, we jump to four, which would be best team in the league with a number four num. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's get it. But anyway, week uh week fourteen predictions. Like I said, I picked the Rams. You gonna see that anyway. Um. We got the Jets, Bills. I got the Bills. Um, I don't really care if the Jets beat them or not. I feel like Jalen Hurts is way ahead of um, Josh Allen in the NFE, in, NFE, MVP race. So, therefore, I don't wish no bad luck on the, on the Bills. But, anyway, it is what it is. Um, Browns at Bengals. Um Bengals been looking good for the last couple weeks, but um, Deshaun Watson is back for the Browns. He ain't looked too good last week, but he got a full another week of practice. He played an actual live game before. He might bounce back. Who knows? Um, but they are talking about Joe Barrow in the MVP conversation. So, you know what I'm saying? Deshaun Watson, if you still got it in you, go ahead and pull that thing off so we can knock him out of the conversation. Um Texans at Cowboys. Texas versus Texas. Um, I got the Cowboys. I don't even know why I just took that long break. I got the Cowboys. The Texans are one ten and one, but they do have a win on the season. Don't sleep, Dallas. Don't sleep. I, I got the Cowboys, but don't sleep. Um, uh, Ravens, Steelers. I got the Steelers, uh, no Lamar Jackson. They just pretty much broke the news. He's not playing Sunday. Um, I don't really think they was going to win anyway. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on in Baltimore, but um, they don't look that good. Um, we got the Jags and Titans. I think the Titans going to bounce back and get a win after we slapped them around. I think they got their act together. They're going to get their act together. Chiefs at Broncos. I got the Chiefs. I would like the Broncos to win this one or at least make Patrick Mahomes look bad. But the Broncos just, I don't know what's going on over there. Um, yeah, I got the Chiefs on that way. I got Panthers at Seahawks. Seahawks. Um, the Buccaneers at the 49ers. Um, 49ers look good, but it's kind of hard to count out TB12. Um I got the Buccaneers on this one. Um, we got the Dolphins and Chargers. Um, there's been a lot of talk about um, um, 
what's his name? The quarterback for the Chargers. Um, he's a good quarterback. He can throw. He got a big arm. But they not winning. So it's been a lot of talk around him. Um, so I went with the Chargers on that one. Even though the Dolphins took a big L last week, they might bounce back. But anyway, I got the Chargers winning that one. Then you got Monday night, the Patriots at Cardinals. Patriots, um, I think the Patriots going to win that one easily. Um, and then we're going to jump back to Sunday to you know who. Yours truly, Philadelphia, and the New York Football Giants. All right, so of course I got Philadelphia winning this one. Since two thousand and nine, the Philadelphia Eagles are twenty-one and six versus the New York Giants. Twenty-one and six. That's 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 uh kind of crazy. But um anyway, yeah, I got the Eagles winning this one. Um this should be a um it should be a pretty easy one, but usually when you um got a lot of starters out, the guys that's on the the guys that's in the background on the bench tend to play a little harder because they're trying to play for a job. Either where they are now or in another city with another team. So can't sleep on the guys on the bench because they still in the NFL for a reason. Um, but I feel like um, with the what's going on, I feel like we should, you know, like a 40 to 13 kind of win, something like that. But anyway, we're going to jump into the, to the uh, injury report. We got Sean Bradley. He did not participate in practice um, yesterday. Hamstring. Um, we got pretty much we got a long we got a long injury report, but most of the guys are on there for rest. Um, Bradbury, AJ Brown, Fletcher Cox, Landon Dickinson, Brandon Graham, Lane Johnson, um, Travis Kelsey, Isaac Selmalu, Darius Slay. Josh Sweat. All of them guys were on there because of rest. You know how the coach do he. Them vets, y'all go ahead and take a break. You know what I'm saying? Which is smart because I mean, look at look at what's going on. We're eleven and one. We was um at one point we was the um the healthiest. Excuse me about that. At one point we was the healthiest team in the league. I'm so tired of this iPhone telling me I ain't got no space. Jesus. Um. Anyway, we were the healthiest team in the league at one point. I don't know if it's still that way, but um. I want to give a shout out to Brandon Graham. He was uh, non- nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Um, also, um, this game is a revenge game. We just had one with um, A.J. Brown in Tennessee. This is a revenge game from Bradbury. Um, it ain't like they, I mean, really let Bradbury go. They wanted to keep him. They just ain't had the money to keep him. So, the best GM in the league, Howie Roseman, went and got him and said, we're going to play pair you up with the best cornerback in the league. So we got the best two cornerbacks in the league, period. Um, so you got a decision to make, Daniel Jones. You're going to either throw it to Bradbury or you're going to throw it to Slay. What you going to do? Choose wisely, my guy. Um, A.J. Brown. Currently has 950 yards, nine touchdowns. Miles Sanders currently has 924 yards, nine touchdowns. I think both of them will hit 1,000 yards this week. Um, I think both of them probably will score this week. And, yeah, we got 1,000-yard rusher, 1,000-yard receiver. And it's possible... um, it's real possible that uh, Devontae Smith can get a thousand yards this season too. Right now, I believe he's at seven hundred and eleven yards, um, four touchdowns. So I think it's possible he could finish with a thousand yards. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share it to your friends, your mama, your cousins, your uncle. I get back to you on the next video. iPhone.